Hi, this is Joey from ESC Plus. We're here with Rasmus at Dansk Melody Grand Prix. Hello. Hi. Uh, I want to talk to you about your song, Hold My Breath. It is one of the bigger ballad songs in this year's competition. That note that you hit, I think, is, is a really big moment. What do you hope to express to the audience in, in, that, in your song and particularly in that, in that moment? I hope that people um, can relate to the story there is about the song, that, uh, that in this world we're living in, that sometimes it can be a bit hard to just accept yourself for who you are and stay true to yourself because there's a lot of things out in the world that everything about the images that we we get the from different uh, commercials and stuff and it, it, you have to be like you have to look like this to be happy you have to do instead of just looking inward and stay true to who you are and say this is how I am and uh, I'm really proud of myself and I'm I'm just glad to be alive because it's a really great thing to be alive. So do you agree when RuPaul says, if you can't love yourself, you can't love anyone else? Yeah. it's <laughs> a good one, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to seeing that song. Uh, a little bit about the songwriters behind it. I know there's a team there that's not uh, unfamiliar with Eurovision, right? No. Uh the two main uh, songwriters, uh, Tim Skov and uh, Martin Skriver. Um, Tim Skov uh, was uh, the lead singer in uh, A Friend from London, who uh, won, dan uh, won Dance Grand Prix in 2011 or 2010, I can't really remember. 11, yeah. 11, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Martin Skriver is uh, one of the songwriters and singers from Lighthouse 10, who, was in, uh, who won uh, in 2016. Yeah. So, so yeah, so you've got some real professional um, a songwriting team there, but uh, the message of the song, w were you involved in crafting that too? Um, we, we talked a lot about what we wanted the expression to be like, as in, instead of j because I'm, I'm a trained musical theater actor, um, so we talked a lot about the, what, what do we want to, because the, the text and the, the music already has have been written, so now we needed to talk about what what do we want people to to get from this well how do you want we need to talk about the performance because that's what everything leads up to in the end that it's a one thing is that I did a, a, a great uh, a, and it went really great in the studio but what do we want people to get from it yeah uh, your theater experiences uh, anything involving West End or Broadway or do you have aspirations to uh, to hit that um, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I, I when, when I was uh, right before I got, uh, I got my diploma from uh, the academy, uh, and not the academy, not uh, the, an Oscar or anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I, 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 I written a letter to myself that I got, uh, I gave to one of my teachers who then sent it one year later to me. And there, I, I was thinking a lot about the auditioning for once uh, in uh, either uh, on West End or uh, on Broadway because it's no secret I'm, I'm a musical theater guy so uh, or a trip to uh, New York in 2014 that it's set in suddenly a lot of thoughts uh, went wild there <laughs> well I hope that this uh, performance brings a lot of opportunity your way uh, to fulfill that passion <laughs> that'd, that'd be amazing <laughs> that'd be amazing um, so I'm just going to wrap it up here. Do you have um, maybe a message for some of your international fans watching this abroad? Um, I'm so glad that you're... Uh, yeah, I hope that you're voting for me and uh, uh, looking forward to perform for you. And uh, this song is a universal song, so it's not only... It's a universal story, so it's not only for the people here in Denmark. Thanks very much.